Hello, welcome to my homestead. I found these potatoes which are starting to resemble jellyfish in uh, my house underneath the dining table. They've been completely forgotten. Uh, so I've run out of space in the garden for planting potatoes in the ground. So I've made a potato tower for them. And I thought I'd share with you how I made it. And one thing I have a lot of here are sheep stags, which are the soiled part of sheep's fleece because I live in rural Wales and there's a lot of sheep here. These are about a year old now. So I used the potatoes, the potato jellyfish and sheep stags and some other ingredients to make a potato growing tower. Here's how I did it. When I moved here, I found some lengths of stock fencing here in the orchard and I like to reuse anything that I can to save some money. So I stored them and some has been used to make a hot container for leaves to make leaf mould. And that's why I decided to use it to make potato tower as well. So if you haven't got stock fencing, I appreciate that's more likely to be something that is found knocking about in a rural location, then anything that would make a sturdy frame um, with holes in the side. So improvise, see what you can find. And this is how I made it. First of all, I'd like to apologise for the sunlight. It's quite early in the morning and the sun is rising there. So that's why I'm kind of in and out of the shadows. Now, first of all, um, this area is really weedy. So I put cardboard down on the weedy grass, overlapping it. And this is a light excluding mulch. It makes the weeds underneath die. They're all annual weeds in this area and provides a base for my potato structure. Then I put the stock fencing on and secured it with a, a plastic thing that you use, I think, for electric fence. But again, I found some of those here, but anything that would hold it in place. And then I put a layer of sheep stags at the bottom of my structure. This is the soiled part of the sheep fleece. It's a waste product. I get mine from a local farmer. Put that down and then I put a layer of comfrey leaves. I'm doing a kind of layered structure here. It's an experiment. I'm not 100% sure how it's going to work because here in Wales there's a lot of slugs and layering sort of these ingredients can create a slug habitat but we will see. If you don't experiment you don't find out. After this I put a layer of compost. Now I'm putting the sheep stags around the edge to make a kind of wall about 10 centimetres deep, that's about four inches or so, and I put about three quarters of a sack of peat-free compost in there on top of the comfrey and then placed my potato jellyfish on top and planted them within the compost. I then put another layer of comfrey on top of that and then some homemade compost from uh, one of the compost heaps. Uh, this is kind of, it's composted, but it was one with like lots of twiggy bits, which the potatoes won't mind. And then put some more fleece around the edge just to make sure that it's all held in place. In the area surrounding my potato tower, I've also put the fleece on the ground um, because this will help act as a mulch and it will gradually break down. It takes about two years for sheep fleece to break down. Filled with enthusiasm for making a home for the potatoes and using whatever I could find, I got this old washing basket which um, has it's, you know, it's no use for purpose anymore. And I filled that with some mostly rotten bedding from the duck house and put some more potatoes in there. We'll see how that goes. And I also filled a couple of small dumpy bags with um, some compost and with a layer of cheap fleece at the bottom and then some compost. And I've put the potatoes in there. Now, 
with the potato tower, as the potato leaves grow, the foliage comes up, I'm going to be adding layers to mulch it and to earth up essentially these potatoes. And I haven't got much compost left. I certainly don't have enough for my tower. So I'm going to be using whatever resources I can find here. This will include more comfrey and grass clippings. That can create a slug habitat. So we'll see how that goes. I do like an experiment. The reason I'm not putting sheet fleece across the top is because I found out before that the potatoes struggle to grow through it. It's quite dense. So I'm putting materials on the top that the foliage will easily be able to get through. All being well, in the autumn, I will have a lovely tower full of beautiful potatoes and not a lovely potato growing tower full of beautiful slugs. We'll find out later in the year. Are you going to have a go at making a potato tower? If you do, let me know how you get on.